What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. It is currently my birthday and I'm hella excited because for my birthday, we're gonna go pick up a new diff for the FRS, guys. Look, at Shirley's alive. I don't know why everyone's been asking if my girlfriend's alive or not. Like, I don't know if they, I don't, guys, if you didn't see the video, I didn't kick my girlfriend out and then me stay in the car chilling by myself. I kicked her out and then when she was safe, I got out of the car to make sure we were both safe, right? So. Me and Shirley are on our way to pick up a new diff right now, and I'm hella excited because, yeah, man, like, the FRS is the only car we got running right now, just because the Z is completely torn apart because I'm getting it ready for SEMA. So, yeah, let's go check out this new diff, and hopefully it works good. And honestly, when we go back to the house and we remove the diff that failed, we're going to open it up so I can kind of show you guys, I guess, what the inside of the diff looks like, and we, we can figure out, like, what failed on the diff. But, yeah, let's go. I'm excited. Alrighty guys, Target acquired new diff for the 8.6 is right here. Um, it only has 80,000 miles, but regardless of what he's saying, we're honestly, we're going to swap in new fluid. We're going to change out the old fluid and then uh, make sure the diff is nice and good. But overall, it looks to be in good condition. The guy ended up crashing his car. So 80,000 mile diff, I'll take it. <laughs> Look at Mikey out there. <laughs> As you guys saw, yesterday we picked up a new diff for the FRS, and shout out to Mikey, dude. Without Mikey, honestly, 99% of my builds would not be able to happen without Mikey. He literally is always down to help, and is always my right-hand man. So, today, with the help of Mikey, we are going to jack up the FRS and uh, install a new div to kind of get the car running, and number two, kind of see what failed inside of the div. Yeah, <laughs> there's Mikey. We're gonna see uh, with the old diff, we're gonna open it up and kind of see if we can find what went wrong inside of the diff. Uh, but yeah, let's get to it because I need a car. If you guys uh, haven't really noticed, it's literally in pieces over there. So uh, I need a running car, man. <laughs> yeah, you, Mikey needs a running car too. At least we got your truck up and running. Uh, but yeah, I think the easiest way to get the diff out is we're gonna jack the rear up. We're gonna put two um, jack stands on each side and then have the jack basically hold up the diff to be able to get it out. Before I do this, the back wheels are what don't move, the front wheels. Yeah, I know, we need the little, the wheel stopper. <laughs> <laughs> but this is exactly why I tell you guys all the time too, I need a shop. Look guys, look at this. We're about to do a diff install in the middle of the street. <laughs> this sucks, man. I need a shop so bad. And Mikey said, on an incline as well. Dude, this sucks. And uh, it is your diff. Well, no duh. Oh, there's metal shavings on it. Oh, wait, there's diff oil coming out of it like that? Yeah. Damn, hold on, hold on. Bring that back. Bring your finger back. Oh, Damn, that thing was dark as hell. Oh, hell no, nah, bro. And previous owner to the F, uh, 86, bro. Y'all fucked up. <laughs> Dude, beep, beep, who beep. knows the last time that this diff was actually like the it fluid change? Because like that looks, fluid was dark, dude. Looks, honestly, I don't doubt inside it's going to be metal shavings everywhere. Hey guys, I'm going to take the blame on this. I should have changed the diff fluid. I should have changed the diff fluid. I should have done it. It just never dawned on me because I was so excited once the FRS was done that I just wanted to drive it around. I should have changed the diff fluid. I Honestly, anytime I buy a used car, I always change the diff fluid. I always change all like the main components. I just didn't do it for this car and the, I take the fault. The crazy part about it is you can see how much it's been leaking bro it rusted the bottom of your uh exhaust with oil Dang, it's, like this, it's like all that. over the back of the exhaust it's all look it's all over your exhaust oh guys i take i, I take fault 100 percent. this is my fault i should have checked it oh, i just never did look, it's literally all over your diffuser everything it's everywhere no way. you got oil everywhere man damn bro oil, yeah whatever you want to call it. Right. let's take a look under here for ourselves oh yeah baby Oh man, that was 100% my fault. I should have checked this. I never checked it. I'm going to give myself such a big no-no, but you could tell it looks like the gasket was actually bad in the diff. Here's the axles. There's no diff fluid coming out of the axles, but underneath the diff, it looks like either the gasket was wrong. Let's see, check this out. Oh, actually, it looks like maybe this axle is bad actually because this side looks like it's been leaking so maybe we're gonna go to this side being the cause of the diff losing fluid like I told you guys be careful with your diff because sometimes an axle will cause you 
to lose fluid and basically, yep, this will happen. All right, guys, the first thing we are doing is we are gonna get rid of the mid section of this exhaust to really, really be able to free up all the space for the diff. Luckily, this exhaust is pretty simple to take off. Mid section out, let's go. Alrighty guys, we have come across our first challenge. <laughs> Hi Mike. Uh, we didn't think about this. The dip is locked. So to be able to unleash the drive shaft, you have to be able to spin the drive shaft to get the two upper bolts. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put it in the gear, turn the car on, and hopefully that works to get the car there. Be careful with your head, don't burn it, Mike. Exposed. Alrighty, guys, <laughs> we did it. I I kind of felt like it would be able to spin just enough, but you I mean, said, be careful with this thing, bro. Not noticing that this pipe is literally throwing all the fumes right on my face. <laughs> I'm high as fuck right now. Oh sh <laughs> man, we man down, man down, man down. <laughs> Alrighty guys, in with the new, out with the old. This is kind of what I was telling you guys. Uh, look, at, if you guys can see, this side of the diff is really dry. This side of the diff, you can see where fluid's been coming out. So I don't know if the axle just has been leaking fluid, gave out or what it is, but yeah, it looks like it's been leaking a lot of fluid from this side of the diff. So we're gonna open this bad boy up once we throw the new one in and kind of see what's going on with this axle. Master mechanic Mikey making sure everything's nice and tight under here. Want me to give you pipe? This nigga gay, bro. Ah! Alright, guys, we are tightening up the drive shaft, but just to show you guys, Mikey, go ahead and put my hand on the drive shaft. That sign that your dip is good. We couldn't do that with the locked up dip, so. Just, or just read the signs, boys. Read the signs. <laughs> I'm sorry, Shirley. I need to raise the freaking wages I pay you in life. Mikey too, man. This man's over here. <laughs> I was about to be, I Mike's was, like, I'll take an R32, please, GTR. I was about to say, I better get a pay raise long before the new person gets a pay raise. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, we just removed the axles and we have found our issue. This is the bad side. The seal was actually, or it is actually messed up. You can tell where it's damaged down here and it's been letting all the fluid out. Here's the good side. Watch out, Mike. Here's the good side. As you can see, look at this seal inside is all dry. This seal inside is all wet. So that was the problem to our diff fluid. I mean, our diff just basically giving out was the fluid coming out. It probably overheated, made the gears and everything lock up in there and bam. Differential loss. Alrighty guys, Mikey just opened up the diff and a couple things I see in here. First of all, there is metal shavings all over the inside of this diff. It look, literally looks like a sparkling rainbow in here. Number two is besides all the shavings, look how dark this fluid is. This thing has not been changed in a long, long time and it's look how mucky it is. So previous owner must have been just sliding, having fun um, with the car. And yeah, this is what happens. Always, always when you buy a new car, just do the essential maintenance on it. Change all the fluids, dip fluids, axles, brakes, all of that good stuff to save yourself from ha anything happening like this, like happened to us. But yeah, this dip is definitely shot and definitely hasn't had any dip fluid or any kind of maintenance done on it in, in a long time. Alrighty guys, I'm going to get some brake cleaner, clean off this div to be able to make sure that there's no leaking or anything once we're driving around again. 
all right guys we officially have the driver's side on we have thrown the exhaust back on we are about to run to the parts store one last time to get a new passenger side axle and then we will throw that on and then the car will basically be up and running but we're also going to change the diff fluid i'm going to show you guys right now how to change your diff fluid in the vlog so if you've never done it before you learn how to do it might as well do it all right now and show you guys what to do um I don't know, I'm gonna go see what kind of diff fluid they have. I've heard that Valvoline has like a little pouch that makes it super easy to change your diff fluid. So we might go that route just for simplicity. If I had a lift, I'd probably do something else. But for simplicity reasons, I think Valvoline has a little pouch and it's just the easiest way to go. Your diff fluid also use, I think 1.2 quarts of diff fluid if I'm not wrong. So um, we're gonna have to get two pouches. Uh, but it's really hot out here and it's also really windy. I feel like this freaking canopy is about to fly away, man. So uh, let me start putting stuff away because uh, yeah, we're basically done with everything and I'm hella excited. Finally guys, after many hours, <laughs> we got the new diff fluid. I got Valvoline just cause like I said, this pouch is super easy to freaking put into your diff. So we're gonna do that. However, we gotta wait till tomorrow to get the new axle because the axles that I ordered, I mean that I bought, well the axle that I bought for the passenger is order only. So it's not gonna be here until tomorrow. So we'll have to finish this tomorrow. Alrighty, my beautiful people of YouTube, we are back. We already did the parts wrong. We got the new axle. I know everyone says that we could do this with one person, but personally, I think it's just easy to throw it on with two people. You have one underneath holding the axle in, the other one just smacks it in real fast and you throw the axle right on in. So we're gonna pop that bad boy in. Um, the only thing I need to get is I, I forgot to order the gasket, um, um, the drain plug gaskets for the diff. So we're gonna go pick up those and then we'll do the uh, diff uh fluid change and then basically the fri should be ready to go always add a little grease. bit of grease in here just so it makes throwing on your axle a little bit easier there it is. It's it. it's in. and just like that boys we are good to go axle replaced diff replaced we're gonna put the jack stands up and we're gonna put this bad boy in gear, turn the car on and make sure everything is spinning the way it's supposed to spin and we didn't mess up somewhere. <laughs> we're about to put the car into gear, make sure that the dip is working. While we were under there, I, I checked out the, um, the drive shaft and everything. Drive shaft is good. Uh, driver's side axle was good. It was just the passenger side that was kind of weird. So here we go guys. Bada bing, bada boom, baby. Dude, we got a fixed car. You fixed it. Let's go. Yeah, but maybe if you had a normal car, this wouldn't be happening. I know, bro. Oh my I'm gonna God. I'm going to say this. I don't know why people kept saying that. If I had a normal car, this wouldn't happen. Guys, the only thing that's done to this car is just cosmetics. Like, it just looks cool. It has some suspension work done. But transmission, drive shaft wise, like, we haven't done anything to this car. Like, I don't drift in this car. I don't try and go out and do anything crazy this is a normal running car your dip can fail any car's dip can fail right no -uh. at least we know not a normal car we know everything's working now both wheels are spinning let's go guys let's go okay let's go drifting no way oh. no way uh, no no way dip fluid change is almost done guys let's go bro these little bags are so easy to use too Alrighty guys, it's officially time. We are gonna go for a test drive in the RFRS. Now that she is all back up and working, we're gonna see how she's actually driving. Hopefully everything goes well. We also got a new Insta360, so we'll be able to really film how the car looks like driving. And uh, hopefully <laughs> everything goes well. This is the first test drive, so let's see what happens. And we waited, I waited till it was nighttime because I didn't want there to be a lot of traffic out. So just in case something did happen, I wouldn't be in the way of a lot of people driving through the streets right now. So I'm not even going to cap. Let's get it. Bro, initial reaction, I'm not even lying. This car feels so much better than what it felt like before. Maybe 
Maybe the dip was bad this entire time. The car feels so smooth, it's stupid right now. entire time oh, or at least going out dude and I just I never got a chance to actually drive this car around so I just never knew oh, what was that uh oh let me see I just heard a weird noise all right false alarm guys it had nothing to do with us just some random crap that was in the middle of the road but I was like oh god I was like not again I was like cars already falling apart but no it wasn't us thank god this feels so good. All right, we're gonna do one last lap and then we're out of here. Alrighty guys, we just did the first test run with the diff and honestly guys, I think the diff was just trash this entire time because 10 out of 10, that was way better ride quality than I ever felt when I got the, R R uh, the RX-7, the FRS. So 10 out of 10, the car is back. We did a little burnout. We did a little half donut. I didn't want to push it too much, but everything was good. Like it, it passed, 10 out of 10. The only thing is, I'm gonna make sure 100% that we have no problems. What I'm gonna do is I checked under here already. It's pretty dry under there except for that one little spot. So tomorrow, if I come down here and there's a bunch of fluid, then I know something's wrong with the diff and it's leaking from somewhere or the axles or something. But if there isn't anything wet down there, then it shows that we're good. I also cleaned the diff. So I'll know for a fact if there's any kind of new oil on the diff but boy <laughs> i'm excited guys the car feels so good let's go man maybe this was all just a sign from god man he was like boy i'm gonna test you out i'm gonna let you survive just so you can fix your car to give away to someone so it runs 50 times better Alrighty guys, I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. Um, I feel way better. We got the car running. The FRS is running. We're back on track. Let's go. And I want to wish you guys nothing but positivity and good energy. Shout out to everyone that's just wished me like, you know, I guess kind of like, you can say get well soon. Um, but there's just been a lot of people that have been DMing me and texting me like, damn bro, like I'm happy you're safe. Like I'm happy you're good. And I appreciate all of you guys. So from the bottom of my heart, I wish you nothing but positivity and good energy. Until next time. Peace.